In this problem, we're going to solve this linear second order differential equation with constant coefficients. So whenever you have a linear DE with constant coefficients that's equal to zero, what you do is you start by writing down what's called the characteristic or the auxiliary equation. So to do that, you keep the number and then you replace the, the Y with an M and then you match the power. So this is the second derivative. So this will be order so it's second power, right? Order two, second power. Minus 10, first derivative, first power, plus four. And then y is really the zeroth derivative. So you don't have to write this because you could write it, but you would get m to the zero, which is one. So it doesn't matter. And then this is equal to zero. So to solve this, we could uh, attempt to factor it. Uh, we could complete the square or we could use the quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and, and try to use the quadratic formula. So this is gonna be our a, so a is equal to three, and then b is going to be uh, negative 10, and then c will be equal to four. And then it's m, I always mess up and put x here, <laughs> equals, it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac, it's all being divided by 2a. So it's m equals, so let's see, b is negative 10, so there's already a negative here, so it'll become a 10, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so b is negative 10, when you square it, you'll get 100, minus four, and then a is three, and then c is four. It's all being divided by 2a, so 2 times 3. Good stuff. So m is equal to 10 plus or minus the square root of, let's see, 100, oh, big numbers, uh, 12 times 4, 48, right? 12 times 4 is 48, all over 6. So this is equal to 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 uh, minus 48 is 52, and it's all over six. So I'm trying to think what's the easiest way to simplify uh, 52. Uh, I think uh, 13 times four is 52, yeah. So 52 is equal to four times 13 with square roots. So this will be two square root of 13, boom. So m is equal to 10 plus or minus 2 squared to 13 over 6. Now we can break it up. So it's 10 over 6, 10 over 6, plus or minus 2 square root of 13 over 6. Crazy looking answers. <laughs> so m is equal to 5 over 3 plus or minus um, two goes into six three times, so you'll get the square root of 13 over three. So we have two separate answers. So now we'll use the formula. The formula tells us that the answer is C1 e to the m1x plus C sub two e to the m2x. And then we just plug in the m's into the formula. So y equals C1 e to the, let's take the plus first. So it'll be five over three plus the square root of 13 over three. And then we have our X plus C2 e to the, and then it'll be five over three minus the square root of 13 over three. Whoops, so the 13, let me just, let me just fix that, make it look a little bit better. Square root of 13 over three X, beautiful, and that would be the final answer to this problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.